friends, welcome to a brand new series. Welcome to Ooblets. Ooblets is a game that came out a couple of months back. I think it came out in July. It's on early access at the moment. It is... From what I can gather, I've watched one video of it being played. Thanks, Northern Lime. Um, it seems to be Slay the Spire meets... Pokemon meets Neopets. All with a sort of cutesy feel to it. With, from what I can gather, some pretty, pretty funky humour in there as well. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play on the channel. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play in general, to be honest with you. It's quirky as all, all hell. And, you know, it's the kind of game I like. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a bit sad for that, but I'm okay with it. I think it's made by, is it a married couple? It might be a married couple, it may, I'm maybe putting too many things together there, but I think it is just two people that have made the game. Um, without any further ado, let's just, let's just fire in. New game, please. What's your name, buddy? Spell it out. That will be Drew. Done it. Hey there, Drew. How do you want to look? I want to be pale as anything. Oh, short hair. Hair color. Nah. It's gonna be blonde or pink. I think I can ask for pink, doesn't it? Oh, I thought I did choose skin tone. Sorry. Let's get you some clothes. What have we got? Hmm. Yeah, that's that's kind of me. <laughs> I've got these exact shoes and that exact hoodie in my wardrobe, so... Ooh, that's a look. Hmm. It's also kind of me. I do like a checked shirt. Oh, back to the start. Okay. I think it's going to be the, the hoodie in... Hoodie and black jeans combo. That seems like me. You look pretty good. I feel good. Let's go. So I essentially got Ooblets for very cheap. Um, thanks to the Epic Store. Your life has been a giant toot. Oh. Thanks. So far you've spent all of that tooty life on the isolated Arrow Island. Where the people are stuffy and there are even any ooblets. What are ooblets? How do I know I'm missing ooblets if there aren't ooblets for me to miss on the island? That's why you've decided to leave. Okay. You're off to the distant shores of mainland oob. Oob, what a great word to say in a Scottish accent. I'll eat you, oob. Sorry. A place you've only heard vague tales of. A fabled land of oddity, creativity, and... Ooblets! Hey, there's the name drop. What? Oh, Biddle Boy. It's Mayor Tinstall. Are you from the Ooblet High Council? Is this a surprise inspection? Did I fail? No. I, uh, no. I'm Drew from Arrow Island. Oh, oh then how do? Welcome to Badge Town. You. My name's Tinstall. Oh, and I'm the mayor. What can I help you with? Oh. I'm, I'm looking to start a new life somewhere. Possibly here? Hey. Splenda! Hashtag no spawn. Where are you looking to buy a house? Maybe invest in the local economy? Splenda, if you'd like to sponsor this series, apparently you're getting name drops, so, you know, I'm open to a sponsorship deal. Well, I have no money or skills or personal possessions, so, ah, true entrepreneur then. <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's go with that. I can work with this though, yeah. I've been needing a helper for my ever-expanding mayoral task list. And there's an old abandoned farmhouse you can have if you help me with all the junk I gotta do around here. 
How? Just handing out houses like it's nothing. Okay, cool. You in? Free houses don't just get offered every day. No, you're you're right. They don't. I'm in. What can I help with first? Fantastic. First off, wait. Where are your ooblets? I don't have any. They don't have ooblets where I'm from. Huh. Well, not even a nougum. It's going to be tough to do much with the ooblets here. Well, your local ooblet club will probably be able to give you one. What ooblet club are you in? Um, we don't have ooblet clubs where I'm from either. Well, sort of. No bother. You can join one here. Let me fetch our local club leaders and you can introduce yourself to some townsfolk in the meantime. Cool. Seems easy. Talk to eight people. I'm just going to quickly uh, move my screen a little higher. There we are. Okay, so last controls. What have we got here? Sea dangle. You don't have any bait. Okay. So you can fish. Presumably four ooblets. Let's talk to Ara. Digging your whole deal you got going on. Very confused, chic. I'm Drew, and I'm new here. My favourite type of person, one I don't know yet. I'm Ara. Okay, cool. Milu. I'm Milu. I saw your boat pulling. So you're some sort of rich tourist come to buy all our postcards and novelty t-shirts? No, I'm Drew, and I'm looking to start a new life here. Oh, bleh. What am I supposed to do with all these novelty t-shirts? <laughs> oh. It's it's my kind of humour, I'm afraid. New bullet spotted. Lump stump. Apparently there's like six of them. Oh. New bullet spotted. Dumburb. Clumper. Are you a new plant or are you a plant? You seem to be a plant. Double. A customer. What can I get you? Bean juice? Spressy? Sorry, I don't actually have any money. Not winning customer of the month so far. Well, when you do scrounge up some money, spend it here at Cuddle Cups. I'm Double. I serve the best and only bean juice in town. I've already got some bean juice. Thank you, Double. No splendour to be found anywhere near that, actually. Maybe that's why I don't have a sponsorship deal. Mead. What have you got going on? How do, dearie? My number's not up, is it? Oh, God. <laughs> what were you trying to say? I'm Drew. I'm moving to the old farmhouse. Oh, good. I'm Mead. I run the little gardening shop here, so I guess we'll be seeing a lot of each other. If you have any spare produce, you can sell it to me. Oh, cool. And if anyone ask, starts asking too many questions, tell me first. Why do I feel like Mead is the Mafia? Taffy. Taffy do, yes it's true. Hello. Yeah then, I'm Drew. Oh, don't rhyme with it, don't rhyme with it. <laughs> Just run away. Go away now. Well, that's pleasant. How dare you? Pult. Howdy doody, looking for a bun? Yeah, I wasn't actually, no. I don't think so. I'm just moving to town. Huh, to badge town? Well, I'm Pult, local bunglebee delivery fella. Here's a little gift from the bunglebee company to welcome you to town. Bunglebee bun. Ten of them. Nice and soft, a good source of energy. Contains 40 energy. They're the finest prepackaged treebies in Oob. Eat bunglebee buns for a quick and easy boost to your energy and mood, probably. Hmm. Rugnolia. Are you the research assistant I requested three years ago? No, I'm just new here. I'm Drew. Introductions. Okay, sure. I'm Rugnolia and I operate the Lernery, which serves a variety of purposes too complicated to get into right now. And if you're going to be sticking around, you should have this. Grumboir. Okay. Gimme. It keeps track of all your tasks, items, friends, that sort of thing. Okay, cool. How does it do all that? Science and magic and junk. You'll figure it all out. Or you won't. 
I have no metric of your aptitude for these sorts of things. <laughs> Open your grumboir with tab. Here's my grumboir. Wishy well, zero wishes. What does that mean? So I have ten bunglebee buns. That's all. Friends, these are people I've met so far, presumably. T Taffy. <laughs> Banned from all the clubs. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, seems easy. Oh, okay, so. Ooh. I have a lot of recipes already, apparently. One more person to talk to. It's gonna be this guy. That's so important, isn't it? Yeah. Charles. Ooh, he's gonna be a posh one, isn't he? You're standing awfully close to me. Mm, hi, I'm Drew. I'm new in town. I suppose you'll be wanting to know my name now, huh? That's okay, you can tell me when you're ready. Okay, fine, I'm Charles. I make clothes at my shop, Kibonbon. I'd shake your hand, but I don't do that. Well, he's just lovely, isn't he? Splendor! Seriously, that sponsorship deal can't be far away. Everyone is here now. What? So basically, Ublet Clubs are little social groups that each have their own themes and personalities. These are our local Ublet Club leaders. I thought I'd let them each give you a quick pitch to see what they're about. Okay. What we got? Melda. We'd love to have you join Fun Buns. We're delightful. Fun Buns and Tud. The club for sweet cuties who love cute things. I mean, probably not me. Peak snubs don't do pitches. You should be pitching to me, says Basil. Peak snubs and Bittle. The club of born leaders, strong competitors, and just generally successful people. Well, that sounds like... not me. Mimpins and Sidekey. The club for clever people who aren't very good at social interactions. <laughs> Hello! I think I've found my home! What's Vidion saying? I don't really know what to say about Mimpins, or what to do with my hands. Yep, there's my spirit animal. Outgrid. If you like adventure, the outdoors and nature, you should join me at Moss Sprouts. Moss Sprouts and Shrumble. The club for woodsy, outdoorsy types who love a good adventure. It's got to be Mimpins, hasn't it? I think it was just four of them, yeah. Definitely Mimpins. No, or you <laughs> I didn't anticipate you'd pick Mimpins, but hopefully you'll be satisfied with your choice. I've chosen an ooblet for you that I've predicted will be an acceptable companion. Hey, Sidekey! Aw, oh, you two look like a perfect match. Do we? <laughs> sure. Nope. Videon's off. Now that you've got an ooblet, you should try getting into a dance-off. Ooblets are mysterious creatures, and they apparently love dancing. It's very important to them. All we can do is support their interests and set up elaborate, contrived, competitive dance scenarios for them to show off in. You'll be amazed at the sort of conflicts that get resolved through the medium of dance. Oh, here comes a worthy competitor to let you practice. Dance challenge from Lump Stump! Uh, no, or ya. Yeah. I think I can only pick ya. Yeah. Here's where you pick which ooblets you want to dance. You only have one so far, so it's an easy choice. Fair play. Okay. Each turn you draw random dance moves for you to choose from. You have some basic moves that will always be available. Each ooblet also has its own unique move. With some experience, they can learn new moves. Moves cost beats, and you get fresh beats to use every turn. To start with, you'll draw four moves and have three beats per turn. Okay. Some moves increase your points, lower your opponents, or do other junk. The goal is to get to this number of points before your opponent. Cool. 
so we need to get to 20. We've got Ferret Loop. Play next nice move twice. Lil Lindy earn 2 points. Gavot Trot earn 4 points. Tiki Tap Tap steal 3 points. This is quite easy then. We play Ferret Loop. So yeah, I can see where the Slay the Spire comparison comes in. Next time. Oh, good. Glad we got that. <laughs> End's turn! <laughs> Twizzle Sizzle! Earn one point. Twizzle Sizzle! Earn one point. Okay, cool. So we've got two little Lindies, a Gavot Drop, and a Tiki Tap Tap. Should be straightforward, it's a little Lindy. And a Gavot Drop. 14 versus 2 for the opponent. Twizzle Sizzle again. Dainty Dip. 3 points. Ooh, ringing it. Flip Floss. Earn 7 points. Well, that would do. Don't think I really need to. to... Yeah, no, let's just hit the Flip Floss and win. Victory is sweet. Victory set, why not? Victory is sweet. Like Splendor. <laughs> Get a seed from Lumpstop? Yeah! Good job, little Lumpstop. You did great. Yeah, you didn't really. You were pretty garbage, actually. Okay, cool. Lumpstop seed. Plant me to grow a new friend. Easy peasy. It certainly was. Anywho, you should head to your farmhouse now and get settled in. Cool. Meet Tinstall at the farmhouse. How do I get to the farmhouse? Not up that way. That's a gate. Presumably I'm not getting that way. Certainly doesn't appear to be anything that way. Presumably can't go up these either. This way? Yeah! Good, I'm glad we got there. House! 13. Taub. Chase. Foreman. Sorry. It's not much right now, but what do you expect for a free house? I'm sure you'll be able to fix it up and make it real pretty. Maybe add some bunting. Bunting always helps. Wow, what a junkyard. I, I mean, a very unique property with a lot of potential. I brought you a couple of things to get you started with your farm. Sweetie beety seed. That's not going to be easy to say. A sweet root vegetable which can be used to create fructose. Takes three days to grow. Sure. Dirt scraper, a basic scraper. Okay. Give it a shot. Just don't dig deeper than six feet down anywhere around here. What? Are you the Mafia? Do you know where the bodies are buried? Are you going to kill me? These are questions I have. I don't trust you, Mead. Use left and right to choose different items in your hotbar. Select the dirt scraper. Bring my right hand in here. Dirt scraper. Press Q to enable farming mode. This will help you select the land you want to work on. Oh, cool. Press space to use the dirt scraper on the piece of land highlighted in the viewfinder thing. Easy. 
Remember, left and right, change the item in your hotbar, press and Q enables farming mode. Cool. Plant those sweet baby seeds. Yep, seems straightforward. Splenda! I'm gonna laugh every time. Now you just need to water it. Here's a dribbly can you can use. You, you're giving me a lot of stuff. What are you, what do you want from me? Fill it up with water from the tap here and use it to water your seeds. Cool. Q to re-enter farming mode. Oh, I see. This is using energy. Is it? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it is. You got it! Now all you have to do is water the crops each day and harvest them once they're fully grown. You're already a pro at farming! Maybe semi-pro. You'll improve! Ah, I love people that have faith in me. Anywho, you must be pretty tired. So get some rest, and I'll check in on you tomorrow morning. Go to sleep. Sure, don't mind if I do. <sighs> we have a suitcase, a little portable stove. Do I have anything in my suitcase? No, nope. absolutely nothing. Oof. Okay, well, yeah, I was going to do it for this episode. I presume, unless there's a cutscene during the sleep. But if there's not, Hope you enjoyed the first episode of Ooblets. I will be hopefully doing this daily. And so, with that, until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.